Yes, I love smoking marijuana. I smoke marijuana a lot. More than a lot. A lot. In the smoke section. Whoa. What's going on with you? How y'all doing? Welcome to Match One. Yeah, la, catch me smoking where I ain't supposed to be Never let a hoe get close to me Going up, that's my direction Only G's in the smoking section No hold up when I roll up And we slow up on that doja Laying out on the sofa Lighting that supernova That flight, this that gas This that best you ever had And I roll that shit so good This that shit you don't want past This that shit you want to last for forever Baby, come with me First of all, we're gonna start off with this thing right quick With your boy, Hassan A.K.A. High Sizzle The voice of the streets The one and only Mr. Bounce Biggity Bounce. What's up, What's brother? Up? What's good, man? All right, look, grab your blunt, man. Grab your blunt. See, this right here is the first episode right here where we're going to talk about we and we're going to talk about the artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about the artists and the weed. Mm. In the South, you know, we don't really get too many strands that come across our way like, like California or D.C. or places that have it legal. Mm -hmm. So when you want the gas, which is sometimes hard to find, mm -hmm. you'd be happy with what you get, you dig? Mm -hmm. But people don't understand that people from the South, especially in New Orleans, we smoke herb and we like gas. We want cookies too. We want runts. We want the lemon pound cake. We want the nice, the real deal. Uh -huh. And so I want to bring on people to the show who I know are true smokers and stoners who also make a huge impact in the city, who only do for the city, but the city loves as well. Mm High -hmm. Sizzle is a true honor. I appreciate it, man. A true honor, man. I appreciate it. Let's go! Man, you've been recording since how long? Oh my god, about to be... What, 16 years? Yeah, 16 years. And uh, I'm, uh, one of the biggest tracks that uh, that really stopped out, jumped out first was in 2005, they bounced it big there, am I right? Nah, uh, she wrote that dick. She wrote! Soldier. And that's to this day, it's one of the hottest songs. <laughs> People are still riding dicks like soldiers. They're right, they are. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're not gonna stop no time soon either. <laughs> uh, it was Bounce It, Big It, Bounce It, and she wrote that dick like a soldier and Buckle Your Knees. I dropped three songs uh, at one time uh, in 2005, the summer of 2005. And uh, due to Katrina, everyone spreading out everywhere. Everyone had uh, the, the burned CDs with my music on it, and it was everywhere. So due to Katrina, um, it wound up making it that song bigger than what the fuck, you know. I mean, you know. It's, it's what we needed at that time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I remember Katrina, and uh, in that time, those songs is what kept us close to home. It what made us want to go back home, you know? Right, right, right. I, always, I, I say this because of movies that I watch. When I watch movies, a lot of movies I watch uh, when I was a kid was mostly in New York. And uh, you watch how Biggie was an a impact on so many different other artists in his time. Uh, in New Orleans, the impact was MCTT Tucker, DJ Irv, DJ Jubilee, DJ Jimmy. Jim, yeah. These sounds as a child. I was born in 88, so just imagine, you know, the 90s of hearing this music and being able to understand this music mm -hmm. uh, as a child. It just... It's in my soul, honestly. Like that's what I heard growing up, and I just decided to grow up and say I wanted to master it, and I did. <laughs> and you did, you did. I remember the first time I heard you on Drake's Child's Play. Mm -hmm. Fuck me up, fuck me up. Cause the thing is, as I'm listening to it, I hear I'm hearing the bounce in the back, you dig, and I'm like, wait a minute, rewind that shit back when I first. I think everybody when they first heard that shit, they was like, run that shit back, run that shit back, and you hear that. You were like, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute. Is that? Yeah, wrote that dick like a soldier. She wrote it like a soldier. She wrote it like a yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Drake, like everyone was on the phone. And it was just like, hey, we will have this song for you uh, that we love to play for you. Um, which, you know, we sampling you. And they played the song on the phone first. 
And when I heard it on the phone, I'm sitting there in Indian style in my bed smoking a blunt. <laughs> And I was I was in total shock because I couldn't believe what I was saying. Like I had to put on the speaker where everyone else that was in the room could know like I'm not fucking tripping. <laughs> right then and there I was preparing like the next day to go to work and be like, I'm gonna do my classes for you know, to become a manager. Nah, the next day something in store for you. <laughs> and the next day I was just like, Whoa, fuck no. Next day immediately, like dead ass. The next day was just like I have to put an album out. Yeah. ASAP. And what I did was I took a lot of my music that I know that was not internationally heard at all. I took a lot of my songs that I felt that was amazing songs like to put out for the world. And I came out with my first album, The uh, the Voice of Notes, Volume 1. And I did a music video for my song, Shake Down on there. Uh, Rump Chicken's on there too, right? No, not Rump Chicken. That's, that's one of my favorite actually. Rump Chicken, Rump Chicken is uh, that, Love Making. That's, that's an that's album a, of mine. <laughs> Rump Chicken Love Making is, is another album of his own. That, that one, that track, I'll tell you. Mm. But, I love you, good you heart, 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 break it. Pop it, your booty pop it, Rump Chicken Love Making. Pop it, I love you, good your booty, 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 shake it. I love you, good your money, 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 off of myself and not just off of anyone else but I made my bag off of my own album well now we learned a little bit about how sizzle and the bounce world let's talk a little bit about this week when was the first time you got high the first time I got high was my 12th birthday oh shit uh, <laughs> what but my friends they had some weed and stuff and it was my birthday and I was excited I wanted to try the weed and all this so uh was it wait a minute so what we you see 12 this had to be like what early two thousands, late nineties. Mm -hmm. So this is Reggie. Yes, this is Reggie. Then. For those who don't know what Reggie is, we gonna throw a little picture up there for y'all. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> I got so fucking high. When I tell you I got high, I got high. I went home. Um, I tried to play it off, you know, and everybody telling me happy birthday. My mama went the loop. Look at me, and I was having my head like this. I said, like, "What?" She said, "Boy, put your fucking head up." And I put my head up. Look at. Oh. And she looked at my daddy and she said, Googie, the loop was smoking <laughs> weed. Oh, damn. My daddy said, Come here. He said, Let me smell your bread. <coughs> I went, Oh, shit. You smoke a whole phone. Yeah. So I'm immediately, I'm getting nervous. I'm thinking about it. my ass who do so forth. And my daddy said, You know what that means, though, huh, bro? I said, What? My daddy said, if you are, if you feel like you're growing up to buy it and smoke that shit, you buy that shit on your own. Don't ask, don't ask us for our money to get that shit. I remember my friend, uh, he, he had brought me to a, a session for New Year's Eve by his family. And he was like, oh man, you gotta worry about weed, you gotta weed that. But I was like, nah, bro. Like, you know, that's just a ritual thing for me to bring my own guard, at least one guard to the session mm -hmm. to say, hey, I'm not here to smoke up all your shit. I didn't come empty handed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ain't saying that people, Cause people are your friends, you know who come won't smoke with you. You you don't mind smoking, they may not have this in a third. But there are people out in the world who only come around just to smoke your shit. Right, right. Yeah, and, and let me tell you something. You're absolutely right about that because I know they have some people who don't have good, good, good weed, and sometimes they come around other people because like, man, I want to try some good shit, so I'm gonna go around whoop de whoop because whoop de whoop have it. Yeah. Uh, I know this about to sound like, oh my God, and y'all better not judge my grandpa. Fuck y'all right now. <laughs> As a child, we used to line up, all us, all my cousins, my brothers and sisters, everybody. We used to line up, and my grandfather just used to bring us to him, and he used to give us a gun. Mm. And go lay down and go to sleep. Dead ass. So that was almost like a ritual thing. Dead ass. Like, it's like, all right, y'all. All the get, children up Y'all love too much energy. Planet, planet, planet. Yep. We ain't about to give y'all no uh, medicine. Yep. You know I'm what I'm saying? We're going to give y'all a little, little smoke. We'll choke our smoke. ass off. Go lay your ass down. Go sleep. Everybody go in that room and lay down. And y'all going to sleep. Everybody went in that room and we laid our fucking ass down. We all went to sleep. We go we goofed out and laughed a little bit. But eventually, <laughs> we went to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I remember before, like, really, Kush hit New Orleans real big, you dig? I mean, like, before Gas really hit New Orleans, before Chronic, mm -hmm. before they had 
fucking um, Dro Hydro. Mm-hmm. Like Reggie did some mid that was really good out there. That like when you smoke that shit, it really got you high. But I just remember the first time I hit the gas, it was a rap. It was no more looking back. Like it was no more buying that. It was no more. I don't give a fuck if it was good, bad. It was gas only, petroleum. You remember? All right. When everyone- propane and propane accessories. We used to roll it to about right there because we wanted all that all that weed just to fit up in there just right. Yeah. And then it really was puff puff pads when Perp first came out. Oh, like, oh yes. It was the rotation really, was really. The rotation was serious as a motherfucker. You fucked you up, man. You fucked up. You the could wet mouth on a go. Oh no, you, nigga, you couldn't do none of that. Like say say. These are texts. These are files on the play. This Perp puff puff <laughs> pads. What was the most exciting or most favorite time you ever got high? Oh my god, uh, I, I I have several, but I can speak on this one. I got high in Miami on the beach, and you couldn't, you bro, you could not fuck. I can't swim. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to lie. I'm a Pisces too. I'm a water sign. I can't swim. Do but, you like the water? Yes, I love the water. But this day, I got so fucking high. You could not tell me, nigga. I was not swimming. I was right in the front, too. But I was going, too. <laughs> Listen, but the thing is... In the ocean? Yes. I was going. I was going sideways. Which that ocean but is so wide. I, I can stand up, though. Where yeah. I was, I can stand up, okay? But I can tell you, you couldn't tell me I wasn't fucking gone. Because <laughs> I was on this side, and then when I got done, nigga, I was down here. <laughs> I don't know if the water brought me that way, but I felt like I was swimming. I went back, boy, I'm sitting there, I said, bro, I said, son, I really know how to swim now. Next day, not high, decide to go chill in the pool at the hotel. Some say, jump off the diving board. I can swim. I can swim. Jumped off that diving board, and my black ass went straight down. (laughs) And they had to come get me. They had to come get me, bro. Do you think that the weed helps you with, like, Releasing your fears and taking away the anxiety. Fucking right. Yes, I have to smoke every time I hit some of the biggest, some of the biggest stages I have been on in front of thousands of people. I smoke. Fuck a drink. I smoke. We make some people lazy. We make some people not. I don't, don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I think lazy people are already lazy. Yeah, lazy people are already lazy, but. W- the word. Let me say that. Let me let me let me rephrase it. The word. Some people say we make you lazy. We make you not want to do nothing. With me, I say, nigga, weed is the reason why you shaking your motherfucking ass right now. Weed is the reason why the songs that you hear and you love right now. Every song I have ever created and ever made, I have been high as a motherfucker. I do believe that uh, the whole process, especially when rolling blunts, especially, but anything with rolling weed or anything how you pack your bowl. Is a ritualistic meditation type of process, and that you are getting ready. It's almost like when Buddhists get ready, they sit the whole thing around their their rug and their their bowl and when, whatever they do, it, and they sit. You know, when a person sits down with, in their own solemn or quiet with their own music, mm-hmm. they roll up and they smoke and they calmly just chill out and get in their zone. Mm-hmm. I think that's a, a a spiritual meditation piece. Uh, for me, it is because I meditate a lot. <clears throat> I'm not your, uh, not your normal nigga. <laughs> Who would you like? Who's your favorite person to smoke with? Like, not like who you want to, but who is your favorite person right now that you like? When you think of a blunt and a person, you think of this person right here. <laughs> My best friend Joe Jackson. Yeah. Joe, I can't even sit there like. <laughs> it's, it's like me and my best friend smoke, and he's an artist as well, and we get so creative. He's a chef as well, like, and it's just like we 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 create a lot of shit together. He'll create some shit for me, just off of saying something, and we'll be able to finish each other's sentence type shit. Like, this the joy of knowing that you can be around somebody that you can get high with, that have the same creative mind as yourself. And when I say finish off my sentence, that's an amazing fucking thing. Did we bring y'all together? Did y'all like believe? Hey, what's up? What's up? But no, not even just that. Well, uh, I lost my best friend in 2013. Mac, no, you Another condolences. Uh, he died. He caught. He died from a seizure. Or whatever. He suffered with seizures his whole life. Um, but he died of a seizure April seventh, two thousand and thirteen. And him and Joe was friends. And in the messages on Facebook, they was writing. And Scooby, before he died, he told me about Joe. Next thing you know, Scooby passed away. But in Joe messages, Scooby was writing him about me and we'll do so forth. 
when I shut myself off from the world at that moment, you know, I was heartbroken. Real ass nigga, Joe at the time, and I can speak on this, Joe had a, a, a car, like a legit SUV to call, and it wasn't that good condition. He drove all the way from home to Uptown, to third and announced station by my house. Parked in front of my door with weed. I got in his truck, we smoked, and we talked. And he was just like, man, look, Scooby was moved through so far, you know. And I ain't talked to nobody. I ain't opened up to not my mom or my family. I didn't talk to nobody about how the fuck I felt inside. But I had talked to him. And we smoked and we talked. I cried, we smoked, we do so forth. And from man to man, he was just like, brother, he was like, I just feel like I was sent here for you. Like, he was like, I've I been fucking with your music. I like, I, I feel like I know you already. And from that day forward, that day, we had never, we never had a fuss, a fallout, an argument, a shady situation, nothing. Not in, me and this nigga roommates. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> to the point, like, he, he, he family. Oh, we about to wrap it on up out of here, Hot Sizzle. I want to thank you for coming. Before we end the session, we want to do one thing right here. We got this from um, Hot Takes. They have, what they have is uh, the last dab. Right here, we're going to have waxed out. And right now, I'm about to wax that ass. We're gonna hit this wax right quick. And I want you, as quick as you can, as soon as you hit this wax, to tell me your top three celebrities that you wanna smoke with. We got the torch on deck. We got Pickle Rick right here. Hot Sizzle is the first one ever in life to hit Pickle Rick. Let's do it, y'all ready? All right, hold it right here. See that right there, that's for you. When I light it up, you're gonna take it right there, pull it down, smoke it all around, get as much as you can. All right? <laughs> Hit it, hit it, swing it. Keep going, go all of it, yeah. <coughs> Alright, now, give me your three, uh, your three, top three celebrities that you want to <coughs> if you can. Anytime. One. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, by Shanda. Uh, damn. <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> Jasmine's up. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Jasmine Sullivan, Beyonce, and Rihanna. And that is it, you guys. That is match one. We want to thank Mr. Hassan, a.k.a. Hot Sizzle, a.k.a. The Voice of Bounce, a.k.a. The Voice of New Orleans. We want to thank you for being here. We appreciate you. We love you. Tell everyone where they can follow you at right now. <coughs> Still coughing. Uh, you can follow me at Instagram, Hot Sizzle, The Voice. That's Hot, H-A, Sizzle, The Voice. Everything's spelled correctly. Facebook, Twitter, <coughs> shit, Hot Sizzle King. And you can follow me at Instagram, Joseph Alpha Man Pines. Also, you can follow me on Facebook. Well, Instagram, Joseph Alpha Joe 504. Facebook, Joseph Alpha Man Pines. You can find me on Gumball Monster with all my film and anything you want to see me acting wise. You can check out the crew there. If you want to check me on another podcast, I'm with the Flower Bass Podcast. You can find us on iTunes, uh, Podcast Bean, Pie Bean. Uh, Stitch, any, anywhere you find any podcast, we are on there. Holla at us. We want to say thank y'all for our first episode. Smoke one in this bitch. We out. Will not find no other in the smoker section. In the smoker section.